Yes, Michael, this computer glitch lasted for four hours. Everybody around the country was experiencing it, but more so us right here in the Detroit area because of the time frame that it happened. Joining me right now is Chief Ron Smith with U.S. Customs and Border Protection. Let me ask you, first of all, this glitch actually caused your officers to have to do things the old-fashioned way, if you will. Yes, it did, Kim. Uh, we are fortunate that we have a lot of technology at the border, automated plate readers and, and computers that will read RFID chips in documents. So normally, uh, an officer is presented with all sorts of information about the car and the individuals that he's going to be talking to when they come up to the booth. When, and just so people know, we're talking like the, these are these. This is the technology that reads the license plates. You don't even have to pull out your passport cards or anything like that. It just automatically pops up on the screen when people pull up to the booth. Correct. Our, our plate readers. There's a camera out there that takes a picture of your plate and then digitizes it and puts it into the system so we can run all of our checks. The documents that you carry now have uh, radio frequency identification devices in them, and it'll give me your digital picture and your biographical information on my computer screen without me ever touching a key. So in order to obviously still keep our security measures in place, the officers then had to go to manually typing that in. Correct. We still have to do the same job, but now the officer has to read your license plate in a mirror backwards and then type it into the computer. They actually have to take your documents and type that information into the computer as well in order to run our checks. Okay, thank you. And, and still no warning on what actually caused this problem? Uh, I have no idea of what caused it. Uh, it's not something that happens a lot, which is fortunate, but it does happen occasionally. Okay, Chief Smith, thank you very much. Much. Again, a computer glitch. It's all been resolved at, at this point right now, but it lasted for about four hours early this morning. Reporting live in Detroit, Kimberly Craig, Channel 7 Action News. Joanne, back to you.